lot of different horse brushes. But do you know the benefits of the different brushes? What they do, how it can make your grooming easier? Well today I'm going to show you the different types of horse brushes that you can use for your horse when you're grooming. Hello awesome equestrians, I'm Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And if you want to make the most of the time that you have with your horse, consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss anything. Okay, so there are a ton of different types of horse brushes. You've got these kind, you've got these kind, all kinds of horse brushes, and sometimes it's hard to know what brush to use when. So I wanted to kind of go over the different horse brushes to give you a little bit of a background of what brushes to use, when you use them, and why you use them. So probably the most important aspect to your grooming is the curry comb. Now it's called a curry comb, but technically it is a brush. And I prefer to use a rubber curry because it's a little more humane and I'm not going to use a metal curry on my horses because metal is sharp and I really don't want to irritate their skin or cut them. So I like to use a rubber curry comb. The rubber curry is awesome from the beginning of your grooming all the way through the end. So first I start with my curry comb and I work in a circular fashion, circular meaning moving my hand circularly around the body of my horse. I'll use it on their neck, their chest, their stomach, their back, their hindquarters, pretty much everywhere with the exception of their face and legs. And what the curry comb does is it kind of captures and loosens up the dirt and dander that really gets deep embedded into your horse's coat. And when you talk about putting elbow grease into brushing your horse, you really can do a lot of good, beneficial, deep massaging and rubbing when you're using the curry comb. So the curry comb is what's going to get rid of all of that excess hair, dirt, dander that's really deep and ground in. And by using that circular pattern, you're actually going to help distribute the deeper oils up to the surface of your horse's coat. So a curry comb is an excellent tool. Everybody should have one. This kind is my favorite because it's got the web material back for my hand. So I can just put my hand in there and it stays. I can conform to it. It's just awesome. And I bought this curry online. I think it was about six bucks. But it lasts a long time and I love this curry comb. The next type of brush that you're going to want to have in your grooming tote for your horses is a dandy brush. And a dandy brush is more of a hard bristle brush. They can be made out of synthetic or natural fibers. Mine, I think, are both synthetic. This is like a rice root fiber brush, which I sometimes use on my horse's tail, so there's some tail hairs in there. But this is a really stiff brush, and it works good for getting mud off your horse or deep ground in sweat. It helps to remove all of that. This is a synthetic brush too. It is a dandy brush. And this is more of a flick brush. The flick type brush, by using your wrist, bending your wrist, you're really going to get a flick action going on. And it will help to remove the hair and the dirt and dander that you worked up first with the curry comb. And even though I'm done using my curry comb for the grooming portion of my horse, I still keep my curry comb on my hand while I'm brushing my horse the rest of the way and I use it to knock the dirt, there's dirt in there, and dust off of the brush while I'm brushing my horse. And you can kind of knock the curry comb on your brush and it helps to get that dirt out so you're not redistributing it all across your horse when you're grooming him. The next type of brush you're going to be using in your grooming is a body brush. And a body brush typically has a hand strap, so you can put your hand in. And they're usually short bristles, and usually they're a little bit softer than the stiff bristle dandy brush. So what this will do is after you've done your curry, your dandy brush with the stiff brush, you're going to use a softer brush. And this will really help to bring out a shine in your horse's coat. There's different styles of body brushes. They're synthetic, they have natural fiber like horse hair, all like that. And as long as it's a softer brush, that's all that really matters. But again, even when I'm using my body brush, <laughs> again, that's dirty, I still use my curry comb to get the dirt and dust out. Because I don't want to be brushing, 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 and just picking up the dirt and dust and transporting it from one portion of my horse to another part of his body. Because that's not really getting him clean. 
The next type of brush, and you don't necessarily need this, but if you're grooming your horse a lot and you love to groom them, why not use a finishing brush? And a finishing brush has very soft bristles, so this really helps to give a nice shine to your horse's coat as well. And I think this brush is my horse's favorite by far. This is a little face brush. And this has ultra soft bristles, and it's a very small brush, but you use it just on their face. And my horses love to have their faces brushed by their eyes, by their ears, under their, their jawline. And this is the brush I use for it. Now you also have rub rags, you have mane brushes or combs, all kinds of different brushes that you can buy for your horse. If you basically have a curry comb, a dandy brush, which is a stiff brush, a body brush, which is a soft brush, those are the main brushes that you really need. If you don't have a lot of money, just by having those three brushes, you can do a lot of really beneficial grooming for your horse. And the more grooming you do, the shinier his coat is going to be, and he'll look just beautiful. So spend a little extra time every single day if you can grooming your horse, and you really will see a difference in a very short amount of time. And if you'd like to learn more about my other DIY projects, product reviews, and how you can be a budget equestrian, be sure to click the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.